This episode of Analog Resurgence is brought to you by Squarespace. Use the link in the description of this video or the code Analog Resurgence to get 10% off your first purchase at Squarespace. It's easy to think about only two or three big names when it comes to the companies out there that make the film that we shoot. Kodak, Fuji, Ilford. Especially if you're a beginner, it's not exactly common knowledge as to who out there is making this stuff anymore. There are companies like Agfa, Orwo, and Foma, but today I want to talk about Adox. At the beginning of this year, 2022 if you're watching this in the future, Adox did something pretty significant. They introduced a new color 35mm film stock called Color Mission 200. Color film manufacturing isn't easy, and I'm sure many people out there have been expecting Kodak to do something like this, introduce a new color film stock to their lineup, but instead, this is coming from a company that I'm sure many people out there have no experience with. Adox is an old name, like world's first photographic materials manufacturer old. It was a brand name used by a German company in the second half of the 1800s. Over the years, the Adox brand has produced color and black and white films, along with plates, cameras, and chemistry. Today, Adox is owned by Photo Impex, and they have factories in both Germany and Switzerland. They produce the black and white negative films CHS 100, HR 50, and CMS 20 as well as the black and white reversal film Scala 50, along with a variety of photographic paper and chemicals. And they're able to do this because they have the ability to coat emulsion onto a film base, something that is very expensive and pretty difficult to do on a small scale. Using old Agfa and Ilford machinery, the Adox factory has in-house coating capabilities. According to their website, Adox has a functioning coating machine in Switzerland, and they're building another coating machine in Germany. But even with that, it's not exactly as easy as mixing up a batch of color film emulsion and slapping it on a film base like putting icing on a cake. But it does mean that Adox has some pretty serious filmmaking capabilities. Adox Color Mission is a new color negative film from Adox that's like a precursor to more new color film from Adox. Uh, hopefully. According to Adox, this film was co-researched with and then coded for Adox by a company that went bankrupt after the first run. Which sounds like a bit of a rocky start, but okay. My understanding is that they made a bunch of this a little while ago and are now selling it in order to fund further and fully independent production of new color film on their own. The truth is, this isn't the easiest stuff to get your hands on. At the time that I'm making this video, Color Mission is sold out everywhere, but it does seem to come back into stock primarily in European film stores such as Photo Impex, which I'll link to down below. It does sound like they have a lot of this stuff though, so it might be around for a while, but just not always consistently available. At least Adox has made it clear about what exactly is going on with this film, which I really like. It's also pretty expensive, especially if you're outside of Europe. I bought two rolls of this from a place in Canada here called Negative Box, and I paid $22 Canadian per roll plus shipping. Unfortunately, they sold out very quickly as well, and I'm not sure if they'll get any more back in stock. I've only shot one roll of the two that I bought so far, but I wanted to talk about this film and Adox in general a bit more. Color Mission is a 200 ISO film that's only available in 35 millimeter. It is very saturated and very contrast. I got super vivid and warm colors with this stuff, and I'm glad I was shooting this on summer days because it's probably not a look that would necessarily suit everything. It feels a little bit like Ektar at times maybe, but more intense and has a bit of similarities with gold, especially in the warmth and contrast of it. Some of these shots though even remind me of Fuji's slide films with the vividness and the warm skin tones that I got on them. The greens and the reds especially really, really pop with Color Mission, and I was really happy with the results that I got back because of this look. I do like a good flexible film like Portra sometimes, lower contrast and suited for different situations, just really flexible, but it can be so fun to use a film that really leans into the colors of your subjects. Sometimes the contrast is a bit too heavy though. In places like this where there's a lot of sun and shade together, just my highlights and shadows are pretty overwhelming, and I don't end up with a good balance of either. I see this characteristic pretty consistently, not just in my own samples, but also just other samples online, so be prepared for it. This is a color film that really likes being a color film. These golden hour shots in the park are probably my favorites on the roll, and they really bring out the intensity of those colors in that time of day even more. It's just really reminiscent of what I would expect from shooting color reversal film. I know that 
sort of general consensus is that people flock towards the 400 color films, but really you can get away with 100 and 200 films so easily a lot of the time, and I'm happy with how this has come out overall. These shots in the woods have a much nicer contrast than some of my other mixed light shots. So going for situations that aren't super heavy mixed lighting will give you the better results or just explore how this film works in really intense situations like that. It also is a pretty prominent grain. So it's of course not on the level of a pro film that we're used to from Kodak. It has more of a consumer film kind of look to the grain. I really did like this film, which is great, but also just a little too bad because it's not the easiest thing to get my hands on. If this is potentially what Adox could offer us someday for color film options, then I am pretty excited for that. Someday being the key word here, of course. Adox has stated, realistically, a new film is not coming next year, in four years, perhaps. The supply of color mission will be enough for this time and possibly a bit longer. So consistently produced color film from Adox is probably several years away at this point, but it seems like they're sitting on a nice supply of color mission. So I hope that it's gonna be around for a while and that lots of people do have a chance to pick some up and shoot it. Film production is a massive, complex beast. And we are in a very awkward time for it because a lot of factories that used to do it decades and decades ago are either not around anymore or they are set up to manufacture film on such a large scale that it's just not sustainable anymore. If we're talking about having a variety of film and especially color film, then the future of this stuff is probably from manufacturers who are able to do this on a smaller scale for today's market in comparison to the massive market from back when film was like the primary format in use. Adox has been working to grow their factory, especially over the last decade, and they have a lot of potential that I hope to see evolve. This year, we've also seen Cinesto put out a new 400 ISO color film, but of course, Cinesto works with Kodak and doesn't manufacture themselves. So Adox is definitely different in that regard. The Adox stuff reminds me of what Ferrania probably wanted to be. A Kickstarter was run in 2014 to resurrect the factory and film stocks of Italian company Ferrania. They had very big hopes at the beginning of that project for especially new color film and even new color reversal film and new manufacturing capabilities in that old factory. But in the years since that campaign, they've been hit with a ton of issues related to the factory buildings. They did release a wonderful black and white film called P30, but that production has been inconsistent. In fact, Ferrania have barely given any updates at all in a few years now. There's also Santa Color 100, which had a Kickstarter this year, but that's also just existing Kodak aerial film. So the idea of actual new color film that isn't from Kodak is exciting. I do also have a pre-order in for the new color film from Orwo, another German film manufacturer that typically produces cinema film. This is Wolfen NC500 and will be a 500 ISO color negative film. So we'll have to see what that's all about once it finally starts shipping out. If you have a chance to get your hands on color mission, then I do recommend it because it's really exciting to just think of it as a big step forward for color film. I don't know what's going to be available in four or five years, especially for color stuff, but I do really hope that Adox is able to accomplish their mission. Hey. It's me. Let's talk about Squarespace. You wanna build a website on the internet? Because the internet is really the only place where you would probably wanna do that. Squarespace has got you covered. They've got all the different templates that make it super easy to do so that you can just kind of jump into it. You don't need to know coding and all the crazy stuff that usually goes along with web design. You don't really have to think about anything because Squarespace has got you covered for all of it. You can use it to make a website about literally anything or maybe not anything, but I mean, something within reason. Let's not go too crazy here. Combine that with their amazing support and Squarespace really is the best way to write a blog or showcase your portfolio of work or sell stuff if you're making stuff and you want to have a platform to be able to get it out to people, then Squarespace is the way to do it. Trust me, I'm just a man on a fire escape with a lot of traffic noise in the background that's destroying the audio of this ad. Squarespace. Use the link in the description of this video or use the code Analog Resurgence at checkout in order to get 10% off your first purchase at Squarespace. Thank you so much for checking this out and uh, I'll throw some links down below so that you can try and get your hands on some of the color mission stuff. There's also links for if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's a Patreon that I have set up. There's also a little bit of merch that's available. So all of that stuff does really help to support the stuff and go further with certain things. But if not, thank you so much for watching anyways and uh, I'll see you soon.